Welcome back, Channel Train Station Two. All right, uh, we have come third in the fifth competitions. Of course, no legendary or epic train yet. And of course, to share with you something really interesting is a sign. I've reached the end of the game, level nine nine nine, and uh, there's nowhere else you can go, and it's still the end game. <laughs> so, all right, this is the start of the uh, fifth competition itself, the second last competition. After this, will be the final one. Uh, hopefully, by then you have sufficient potatoes or event keys and event coins to claim your legendaries and epic train so for me i'm really really near i believe we will be able to claim all three trains uh, provided nothing goes wrong uh, pixel doesn't reduce the amount of potatoes or event keys further so it seems like the case that um, we will be receiving uh, just sufficient uh, potatoes to complete that epic train and of course um, probably I, my guess is we've worked hard continuously we will get that 4000 event keys for the legendary train and uh, as long as we get 30 of those um, event coins which I believe as long as top 10 we should have sufficient uh, to claim the last uh, legendary train of 1000 event coin uh, but all this would come to useless at the last competition because there will be no more added advantage uh, because always having a uh, legendary train up front will have a very good uh, competitive advantage as you can see from uh, this competition itself there are two players that I guess already attained probably two uh, legendary trains and they'll be fighting neck to neck at really extreme speed uh, very unlike normal players like are struggling to complete jobs they are flying through the sky so looking at the amount of ep they have generated i think it's really ridiculous um, it just suggests that uh, if you gabriel get that legendary train up front i think i made a mistake i should have converted the potatoes into event keys um, and forego the epic train claim that legendary train first and then with that we'll generate even more uh, potatoes completion because all these potatoes uh, require batch trains and that legendary train makes a huge difference in terms of every delivery it makes with a high capacity so i think the strategy is basically now um, think about what you can exchange from the short so if the next long event have the same uh, issue here which is the limited amount of uh, event coins unlike the past um, it's 350 uh, for first and at the end of the three competitions you should have 1050 if you get three first but now it drops to 300 so you're going to fight those mini events to claim the balance uh, the strategy is about the other legendary i'm talking about so the 4000 event keys so they have an exchange there in the shop whereby you use 80 potatoes uh, for 150 event keys so some people have been using that to forego uh, the epic train totally use all the potatoes they've been saving up for convert into the uh, event keys and claim that 4000 event keys legendary first so with that they would have unlocked the 100 ep dropped and probably with that they fight better and uh, with more batch trains um, completing the uh, job that we gave you potatoes is so much faster so that could be a way of moving forward which i'm going to try it out in the next long event if it happens to be the same um it is one of the most hateful events i mean i've played so far uh none of the players i've seen in the comments have able to claim the legendary or the epic strains as much as early as they wish they could have but uh, that's the way moving forward um pixel making things really tough um, but at the same time, I mean, why not um, just give it a go, change your strategy and move with the flow and of course never pay. So as usual, we don't pay, we are free to play. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, paying for frustrating game ends up nowhere. So don't ever pay a single cent because once you do that and you feel really frustrated with the game, you're just losing end. So um, again, here we're trying to do as well as currently to send out trains um, before they're going to do the exchange uh, for the union job so have a sufficient of those items to be sent out because currently um, there is a mini event that gives you event coin uh, but just going to send out trains after all so 
Um, I'm waiting for my trains to come back, but meanwhile, I got three extra union uh, dispatches, so I'm going to use that hopefully. But I need sufficient items, so that's why I'm doing the exchange. All right, so a uh, couple more minutes, I will secure the third place. And of course, you can see people there are already given up to off the event. So um, people in front are really ridiculous. 3,800, 3,400. While we struggle the whole two days full playing nonstop, we only got 1,004. So that's the amount of power of having a legendary train early and probably great gem spenders um, pay to win. So that's the main difference between free to play and pay to win. So that is something you to bear in mind. Um, this game favors those who pay for sure because that's a generation of revenue for Pixar. There's no way you can fight those pay to win, right? So um, never put in money, never. So um, that's the end of this event and uh, that amount of event coins we have. We are just short of 30. It's really frustrating here because otherwise we have exchanged a legendary train and we have a competitive advantage at the start of the uh, sixth competition but now it goes to nowhere so hopefully through the last competitions there will be more of those mini events that I can claim another 30 and of course this endless box there can't go anywhere because i'm not paying customer again it's fruitless so um at this moment um i doubt i can compete <laughs> and fight 30 coins here thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe goodbye